right, so um, yeah, we are going to be working on Merlin's UR gear, right? Um, again, just another random video, right? Why well, did not as well record it? We're going to be working on Merlin's UR gear because I do plan on summoning on Mer uh, Melasculus banner, uh, just so I can pull Summer Merlin. If you don't know why I want Summer Merlin so badly, is because my favorite festival as of right now is easily, um, like easily this festival Golter. And I have my festival go through built up, right? Uh, kind of, right? I just I just got this to UR yesterday. I just got this yesterday. Um, so I got a max this side. I just got this to UR as well. And then I'm thinking of gonna of getting this headpiece because it's already UR, but I already have two SSRs. Most likely still gonna get this though because I don't want to have to use 90 on this when I can use 30 on this, obviously. So um, obviously my PvP team, who I think like forever, because I don't think this team will ever just die, um, is going to be the Hijack Gother team with the Summer Merlin and Trader Meliodas, or with Scotty um, and Trader Meliodas, or not Trader Meliodas. Like, I might use Scotty as my main DPS and just say F you uh, Meliodas, because one, um, I gave her your gear as well. She has attack crit. If you're wondering why I didn't give her HP, it's because I'm not going to be giving her HP because she's only losing 2% of her max HP. That's like that's overkill, right? So what I'm 98% of what my HP was should have been, right? And instead of it being 100%, it's 98%. Who? That's so much of a difference that I have to give her HP? I don't think so. Um, I mean, until it stacks up. But if it stacks up, you're basically one-shotting with like her or anybody else like Trader Meliodas on the team. So, um... Yeah, but we're working on my Merlin's gear. I already have it set um, here. I gave it on this Merlin, right? I'm giving Merlin HP de uh, defense. I was going to give her attack crit, but I wanted to watch it. I watched a couple videos yesterday to see how well a crit, uh, attack crit would do. Because I think she has insane crit chance and a uh, very good crit rate. Crit rate. I'm talking thinking of Genjin. She has crit chance and crit damage. Very good crit damage. Like her crit damage is like... 160 and their crit chance is like 70 base so that's pretty good um i already maxed this out or no it was one of these i maxed out i think no i guess not no that was for something else then that was for scotty okay so this one already has attack so we're gonna try to get attack on this actually i'm gonna give go for hp first because for the time being, I can actually use this set on somebody else. I'm not going to give a UR gear instantly, even though um, I do have the mats, right? Let me just show you guys real quick. I was farming training caves yesterday, and I'm, I think I have like three more dungeons today. Uh, let me just check how much more I have today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three more today, so I'm going to be farming that today. Um, and then obviously I was farming it yesterday like crazy. So now I have 75 engraving stones, which is enough for a full UR set, right? If you've noticed all the UR sets I have, I've given it, um, only four pieces, not a full UR set because, you know, right now, um, I don't want to do full UR set. Um, not until later, but right now we're just going to work on this HP. So our goal is to get one 5.1 or higher. I'm not going to be too greedy. Let's see. That would have been perfect, but it has to be 5.1 or higher. Um, I don't want to be too greedy. Okay, that's really good. I'm going to take it. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't want to be too greedy with it because, you know, being greedy gets you nowhere. Uh, so we got 2.8 here. Ah, 2.7 or higher. Right? I don't think that's too greedy. 2.7 or higher. Um, I, I, mean, yeah, I would want it to be a bit higher, but for now, we'll keep it like that. Maybe in the future. Okay, so this is good. This one came with HP 2.8%. That's pretty good. Uh, so we're going to re-roll. Um, for HP stats here. Um, hopefully we get it. I like, like, I'm telling you, bro. I The reason why Grand Cross is, like, you know, in terms of dev teams, I like Grand Cross's dev teams, like, the most. Is because they actually take into consideration um, people's stuff. Like, for, I'm, I shouldn't say, okay, I am technically a day one player, right? But this guy, obviously. Um, I've been with Grand Cross since day one, right? All the updates, I've been, like, I know everything that's come out from a month, a month, a day, all that shit. So, um, what's it called? When, like, this before, doing this, uh, nobody would want to do this because it took long. Nowadays, we can just do it all at once. Before, not only did it take so long for it to, like, re-roll, it would actually re-roll the stat. So, it would go, like, actually re-roll it. And then the bar would go so long. It would take at least 10 seconds for one stat to, like, you know, be set. And it was so annoying, so bad. But now, um, right, and you would have to keep doing it. It would take, like, to get, like, if I was going for HP 2.8%, right, it would probably take me two, three, four, five minutes just to get that one stat. And I had to do it for all five. So, obviously, that was taking way too long. Nobody really felt that shit. Um, 
but then they made it where, you know, um, they made it where like this, you could just do it all at once. And then, you know, when you get it, you get it. So I'm going to just keep going until we get the double HP. Um, and then I'm going to use the rest on the other one. Cause I don't want to. Okay. So I'll take that. Um, it's fine. I'll use the rest on this one. Cause this one doesn't have HP at all. Right. Yeah. So, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll do it like this then. And I'll just like, yeah. Cause again, I'm going to be using this set on characters right um for the time being because i'm not going to give it you are instantly like i said before i'm going to be using on characters for the time being okay wow 1.5 1. point we're re-rolling all that i'm sorry yeah not even higher than two percent what is that 7.5 i know that's greedy but i don't care we're gonna get two percent or higher or like i'm not doing this i'm not doing none of there we go there we go let me see that Okay, the first two, that first one was really good. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, that's a lot better. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, right? Um, If they give me HP here, we can use like the little 100 left. Uh, okay, even better. There, so now this is going to be a decent enough thing for any link or whatever. Um, This one has no attack, so we're going to give it attack real quick. This one, I don't have much anvils left, so we're going to have to be, you know, a bit, um, you know, Use it right here and actually just have to go for one percent or higher. So whatever we get for attack, sadly we have to keep it. Um, so like, well, this one point six, one point six here, one point three. Obviously, in the future I'm gonna re-roll it, but for now, uh, Merlin doesn't come until next week, basically. Um, and I, for me, it's like you can't pick, guarantee pull Merlin, right? I have to hopefully like pull her through the banner. I can't pick Merlin when I'm at three hundred or six hundred, right? So for me, it's gonna be kind of unfortunate. I do have eight gems right now. Um, and I am a free to play, so you might be thinking hey, there's no way he's gonna get Merlin. But I do have a lot of gems. Uh, still have my free stages. I haven't touched a single. Uh, well, I started doing it last night, but I'm gonna continue on the today. But if we go, so right now my Merlin is looking fine actually. What is that? Uh, not not really crazy, but it's like it'll be by the time Merlin drops, it should be ready. Like, um, yeah, not her cosmetics. By the time Merlin drops, it should be ready. I would say that maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe we'll be ready. Um, but I still have all my chapters here, chapter one to six, and you get thirty from this, and I'd say probably just thirty throughout doing this on top of free stages of probably like another thirty. So realistically, from each chapter, I'd say you're getting ninety gems. Realistically, because again, you get thirty for completing it. You probably get thirty not from missions, but eh, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of got a like a huge chunk from missions yesterday. Let me see. I don't know. Because um, sometimes they have you fight these battles and they give you a gem as well. I'm not sure. But I'd say you get 60 plus guaranteed. So let's say, okay, 60, 120, 180, uh, 240, 300. So just from these four these five chapters, that's half of what I need. Um, keep in mind, that's just from the missions, right? I have all three stages, which is going to give me stuff. Hawk run. All that stuff. Um, and I still have my down bad gems if I need them to. So, yeah. I mean, if we get Merlin... I'm not going for Melanscula. If we get Merlin first multi, then I'm done on the banner, right? I'm only going for Merlin. Hopefully, I get Matrona in the process, the Halloween one. But besides that, I don't really care. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys, I don't know, enjoyed watching this reroad. It's not like any Grand Cross Tuber makes videos on this anymore. So, you know, I hope you guys are just enjoying the random clips I'm doing. But, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace!